Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Dana Jarvis, Richlands, Virginia, our rock of salvation. We are the children of God who stand most passionately upon our rock of salvation. I do believe that the days ahead will require a new level of praise, a new level of devotion, and the awakening of the remnant. God is looking for those who will stand firm for him. He's looking for those who desire Jesus more than people and more than platforms. God has got your back. I'm reminded of the story of the widow's oil from 2 Kings 4. The Bible says that her husband, a friend to the prophets, had died. Now the creditors were knocking on the widow's door. They wanted payment for past debts, for he died broke, since she couldn't pay. They were now going to take away her sons. These sons were her future. The widow woman runs to the prophet Elisha for help in keeping her sons from being taken. Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she said, Your maidservant has nothing in her house except a small jar of oil. He then tells her to go and borrow empty vessels from all the neighbors. Go in, shut the door, pour the oil into the vessels. That oil kept flowing, kept flowing to the point where she then went and sold the oil and paid her debts. It would be so easy to dismiss this story as just a miracle story of a widow surviving. But look deeper than that. This story is so powerful because this woman's husband was a man that protected the anointing. He had used all of their money to feed the prophets. He was now gone, and all that she had left in their home was his anointing oil. Then the enemy knocked. He had come to steal the next generation, but it was the anointing that paid the debts. It was the anointing that turned back the creditors. We must leave the anointing in our home to protect the next generation. The widow woman didn't realize that everything she needed was right there in her home. I'm reminded of the great T.L. Osborne quote, Physical eyesight will blind spiritual vision. Wow, I'm going to say that again. Physical eyesight will blind spiritual vision. In other words, regardless of what you're facing, God is up to something. The creditor wants the next generation to extort it. He is at the door of our nation. Shall we hide in the closet of fear? No. Together we can lead a Holy Ghost revolution. We must not sit idly by as the enemy pushes on full steam. Our nation needs awakening. There have been great moves of God on the soil of this great nation. It shall be again. We must raise a standard once again. The anointing still breaks the yokes of bondage. The anointing is in the house. We must go get the empty vessels and fill them with the anointing of God. Speaking for me right now and for all of us, I am saying to the enemy, You can't have our homes, our kids, our marriages, our schools, or our churches. You can't have our nation or anything that we are praying for so desperately. I'm shutting the door in his face. Keep the anointing of God in your home. It will be what rebukes the devourer. It is time to shut the door and fill the pots with oil. Lay hands on your family and declare, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Awaken, mighty remnant. Together, we will bring in the harvest and shut the door on the enemy. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, Jesus, the rock of our salvation, we thank you, Lord, for this encouraging word. Lord, right now, we declare what the prophets have spoken over our families, over our nation, over our communities, God, May it be according to your word. Lord, I thank you that we protect the anointing. We protect the oil. Lord, that we would look first to what you have placed in our lives as our way to bless, as our way to honor, and as our way, God, to make a living. I thank you, Lord, that you are the rock. You are the firm foundation that we stand on. And it's in your name your mighty name that we pray. Amen.